All right, so today I wanted to give a lecture on breaker blocks um, plus our fair value gap. Um, this is what ICT calls your unicorn setup. Right inside this range here, that's where that fair value gap happens. If you're bullish and you have that, that right there, folks, is a unicorn. It is such a beautiful, beautiful. Hear that? That's my excitement. That's why I'm pounding my hand here. I'm telling you, that is one the strongest algorithmic entry patterns you can ever have, especially if you, you it can be found in the uh, core content for month four of the mentorship is uh, ICT Breaker Block. Um, so if you want to go check that out more in depth. Um, that's that video. So a breaker block, uh, we have a bullish and a bearish example. So for a bullish example, we have a low, high, then a lower low. Okay, so the lower low takes out sell side liquidity and then once we break up here and break some sort of market structure, price will come back and use this low as support reaching buy side liquidity. So the breaker The breaker is actually is is the high. It's actually this. I had the drawing messed up. <laughs> So it's the last high before the down move that took out liquidity. So it is the candle in between this structure, low, high, lower, low, pull out in time is your breaker. Okay, typically the unicorn setup there would be a fair value gap in here as well <clears throat> because you would have your break of structure, your market structure shift with the displacement. So this is why it's called the unicorn setup because you have your breaker block plus your fair value gap, okay? So <clears throat> the opposite would be, <clears throat> excuse me, it is the lo the low that right before it took out liquidity. So you have a high, a low, higher high. So then this low before we took out liquidity would be your bearish breaker. And it would come back and use this breaker as resistance before we take out lower liquidity. So typically the fair value gap would be somewhere inside of here as well, nearby, or inside of that leg, this down leg here. Okay, so let's look, look at an example here. So, this is going to be actually, I'm going to mesh it with our silver bullet window. So you see here, we have this swing low here. Then we have our high. Then we have our lower low. So we have a low, high, lower low that takes out liquidity here in the form of these relative equal lows. Here, this is your liquidity trend line. 
if you were to run it like this. But that's just another way to look at it. Um, we have our relatively equal lows here, as well as here and here. So we take out liquidity. We start to trade above the last swing high, right? So these last two bullish candles, the bodies would be your breaker. So we would combine these two as your breaker block. So this would be your bullish breaker block. So let's make this green. So that is your bullish breaker block. Okay. So you could take longs anywhere inside of here, targeting buy side. Okay. What do we also have with that is we have this fair value gap that got created once this breaker block was confirmed. So it's not a breaker until we start trading above it. See, we have this kind of close. So if you miss this fair value gap entry, you could have taken a long off of here as well off of this breaker as support. Okay. So this bullish breaker is this swing low. Swing high, lower low. The last two up close candles before we take out liquidity is your break block. We have displacement, fair value gap. You could have longed here. Five, five points is probably around here. So we would have took this fair value gap plus the breaker. You hit five points easily right there. And 10 points there way before we even get to internal liquidity up here. Now, this happens inside of a macro of the AM session that is between 950 and 1010. So this is one of your AM macros. If you want to take that note that down, we have a AM macro that starts at 950 and ends at 1010. So, Typically, you can look for a setup in the morning here if you don't want to wait for your silver bullet. Now, what I like to do is just trade our silver bullet. So while looking at this bullish breaker example I'll set up for you guys, I also marked up our silver bullet here from 10 a.m. to 11, okay? So we run buy side liquidity come down, run it one more time, okay? Putting in these swing, this swing low. So we have this swing low here. There's your, that's your market structure shift. Oh, let's move this down. Um, We get this candle body closure just below, leaves this gap, entry right off the gap, five point stop, 10 points bagged and tagged there, right inside your 10 to 11 a.m. And you're done for the day, 2%. Right? You could have caught this one and then caught this one on both sides of the market in this a.m. session, okay? Now, what I've started to notice now that I've been trading the silver bullet for for a few months now is I've gotten it down to when I'm reading price to a specific time that I start to see it start taking form or start to move. And that's at 10.08 for our silver bullet. Okay, so although it's 10, 10 to 11, I noticed that at 10.08, we start to, market starts to start forming our silver bullet setup, so silver bullet setup, which kind of lines up with the end of this morning macro of 9.50 to 10.10, right? It's just between both macros of the morning AM 9.50, 10.10 macro and the silver bullet window macro. So 
this is a really cool kind of correlation that I've stumbled upon just over consistently trading this silver bullet setup now. So right at 10.08, we start consolidating and then bam, just here we take out liquidity one more time, displace, come in, and we're, we're in for our 10 points there. So that is uh, kind of what I wanted to go over with you guys today in the classroom. I want to show you an example of a uh, bearish breaker here. Okay. So this is in the PM session, our, our final hour in New York. So if I can annotate here. Where's my annotate button? There we go. Draw. Okay. So, just in the last hour of trading, um, which we could add in the two to three o'clock uh, here if you wanted to, but we just get this run up. So we'll focus on this last hour of training. So we have our swing low, uh, swing high, high, low, higher high. Okay. Once we break beneath this swing low, it because it's in between these two highs, this, these two candles become our breaker. What do we have with it? We have this fair value gap that forms with this big displacement candle, right? So we have our breaker plus our fair value gap caps in. We're also inside of our final hour heading back down towards our opening range gap low. Trade down, back up into an order block here, and ultimately sell side down here. So that's a bearish example of a unicorn setup. So we have our swing high, swing low, higher high, trade beneath it, used as resistance paired with displacement in this fair value gap that breaks this structure here, okay? So this is our swing low. We also get a market structure shift here. <laughs> we also get a market structure shift here with a small gap in there. Entry back down, okay?